Hi! So a few days ago, I released an installment of my Art Infusion series about Berta Morisot and her relationship to Edouard Manet. And I said I was going to circle back to one particular painting, Olympia by Manet, 1863. As I mentioned, this painting and other times Manet painted Victorine Mont, the model seen there in the nude, caused a huge ruckus. Paris was shook by this young woman's naked body. But this painting is actually a double portrait. And while Victorine is fascinating and we'll want to get back to her, she's not the model that made me interested in talking about this painting today. Let's pan to the right, shall we? This is law. So slavery was abolished by the French Empire in 1848. That's almost 20 years before we abolished it over here in the United States. So during Manet's popularity in the 1860s and 70s, black women, like Law, were able to find financial independence in just a few ways. They could be nannies and nursemaids, which we believe Law and Manet became acquainted while she was working as a nursemaid. They could be paid servants, as Law is depicted in Olympia, or they could be artist models. Manet actually painted Law several times. First in 1862 in Children in the Tuileries Garden. And you've seen her in Olympia. And around this same time, he did this gorgeous portrait of her. But it's Law's appearance in Olympia that inspired other artists. The critics at the time were uncomfortable with Olympia because, um, Victorine is lying there super naked. Again, there is a long tradition of painting classical figures in the nude, particularly the goddess Venus. But not just a common sex worker, which is definitely what Victorine is depicted as in this painting. She is meant to be a courtesan. It is not hard to imagine why critics in Paris were scandalized in 1865 when she was first exposed at a Paris salon. But this painting has caused other feelings of discomfort as well. It sets up a juxtaposition between this white woman's sensual naked body while the body of the black woman next to her is fully clothed, not depicted sexually or sensually, but instead depicted in a role of servitude. So, how to respond to Lowe's body? Well, one artist created a rebuttal almost immediately. In 1870, only five years after Olympia was first shown, Frederick Bezil made two paintings, Young Woman with Peonies and Black Woman with Peonies. The same woman appears in both paintings, and unfortunately, we don't know who she is. But Basile's work appears to be in direct communication with Manet's depiction of Law bringing peonies in Olympia. Except in Basile's works, the woman holding the bouquet is the central beautiful figure. Okay, so that's getting close to a satisfying response to Olympia, but we're not done yet. Something I love about the art world is that communication between artists can transcend time. And I believe the perfect response to Olympia was not created until 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know her already, I am pleased to introduce to you contemporary French artist, Elizabeth Colomba and her painting, Law, Portrait of a Negress. Wow, I love this painting. Colomba described it to Vogue magazine a couple of years ago, and this is what she said. During the time when Manet was painting Olympia, I imagined Law must have walked to Manet's studio. So that's why you see her in the streets with an umbrella and the beautiful gates of Parc Monceau behind her. I give her center stage and a lightness of being that I'm not sure she had at the time. Personally, I like the really clever way Colomba reminds you of Olympia with this painting by use of the items that Law is surrounded with. In Olympia, we see Law with a black cat, 
a bouquet, and a courtesan. And there's the courtesan. That woman there walking away is Cora Pearl, the most famous courtesan in Paris. How can you tell? Because Cora Pearl always used to dye her pug's fur to match her dress. I'm really sorry I can't tell you more about Lo herself. I can't even tell you her last name. But I can show you all this amazing work that this one woman inspired over the course of 156 years. And that will have to do.